Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we got new spoilers about two upcoming breeds and honestly I'm pretty excited because yeah one of the spoilers is a little smaller I guess but the other one is pretty cool so we're gonna go and check it out. So as always I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make sure to subscribe to my channel and now let's get into it. So as you probably know the new horses that we're gonna get this year are the American Saddlebred and the Frisian. I'm not actually sure if as of now we know of another breed. I, I think we've already gotten all of the other horses Sarsa was said we'll get, so I don't think we have any other spoilers as of now. But a while ago, Sarsa will post it about the new Gen 3 Frisians. So right now we have the Gen 3 Jorvik Frisian, but a while ago, Sarsa will announced that they will be redoing the breed, will still be a Gen 3 breed. And yeah, if you have a Jorvik Frisian, you will not get a refund and you'll not be able to change it to a regular Frisian because of course. But as I said, Star Civil just made a post where they revealed the code colors that the Frisian is gonna have, which are very surprising. And they also went a little bit more in detail about what we can expect. So they said, a while back, we asked for your expectations for the generation three Frisian. We asked for the color, body confirmation, riding style, and personality. The Frisian is a breed we love dearly, and we have wanted to revisit it just as much as the community has. With new technology and processes, the team finally feels ready for it. So what did we learn and will go with? The team and community are aligned that this time we will focus on the true Frisian, only taking inspiration from the Frisian stud book and sticking to approved for registration code colors and markings. As you can see above, there will be shades of black and very rare color, chestnut. Some of them will have a tiny star, the only marking that is approved according to the stud books. With that said, art is a living process and sometimes things change along the way. Therefore, we cannot guarantee that all these seven codes will be made in the end, but we will do our best to keep you posted. The body confirmation will be more towards a classic type, perfect for the most asked riding style, which was dressage, to get those extravagant, powerful movements that the Frisian is known for. The team will revisit the special trick, canter pirouette, and refine extended trot as the special movement. The personality will be fitting to the horse history, a warrior horse you can often see in movies with regal, elegant, and proud expressions. The horse is here to conquer Jorvik once more. The Gen 3 Frisian will be released later this year and all of the code colors are sun bleached black, black, brown black, jet black, light chestnut and liver chestnut. Honestly I am kind of excited because Star Civil has been making so many like amazing horses lately but at the same time I do feel kind of bad for basically everyone who bought a Frisian because I feel like we should get at least like some kind of compensation for it, at least like your big shillings or I don't know, some kind of t-shirt with the Frisian's goofy face on it because we still spent our money on it and they basically admitted that, you know, it's a bad product. And, you know, on one hand, that was a very different time when they released the Frisians. That was when they were releasing new horses basically every month, which was kind of insane. Now they release them every like two, three months, which I feel like is a really good horse release schedule. And I'm sure that the horses are gonna look amazing. I think they're gonna have the same special movements as the Frisians have now. So the canter pirouette and the extended trot, but I really want Wonder, you know just how different they're gonna look but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know if you think that we should get a refund because honestly like I mean on one hand I kind of get why we're not getting it but at the same time it's also like I don't know you know they gave us a really bad product but at the same time we have been getting a lot of star coins this year I mean I guess they kind of stopped in an April like we aren't getting star coin codes anymore but in February in March we got a lot I don't know how many star coins combined we got but it was really nothing to scoff at 
Aside from that, Star Stable spoilers also revealed that Star Stable put some description in the game about another upcoming breed which we're gonna get before the Frisians, and that is the American Saddlebred. We already know quite a lot about them, but this is what it says. The American Saddlebred is known as the peacock of horses. Its well-shaped head, long neck, and distinct posture give it a uniquely proud look. Visit Starshine Ranch to discover why Lisa Peterson's beloved companion has sung competition for the fanciest equine on Jorvik. Commonly chosen at Carla's Ranch for the western pleasure riding, the breed also performs amazingly well in the show ring. Whether taking a laid-back trail ride or winning all the competitions, the horse America made will elevate your experience with its elegance, kindness, and just the right amount of sass. So it seems like the American saddlebreds will be sold at the Starshine Ranch, which does make sense because a lot of like more Western horses are well being sold there. I'm pretty excited. This is definitely a more unique breed. I feel like they look a little different than, you know, most horses. I, I mean, obviously all of them look a little different. They kind of remind me of Arabians. I guess it's just that they're maybe a little bit on the thinner side and their tails are very high set. So I really want to see how SSO will execute them. Honestly, I'm really excited. I'm also really excited for the Frisians. I feel like we're getting a lot of exciting breeds just because we have been getting a lot of more like warm bloods and though they do look amazing and i love them i do want to see a few other ones a new horse breed slated for release this year is the american saddlebred star Civil announced this breed in november providing additional details including coat colors and breed spe specialization later on in their post they stated we asked for your expectations of the american saddlebred a few weeks ago now together with your feedback and our research we have come to some conclusions. Firstly, you expressed a desire for a natural confirmation in the American saddlebred, an elegant horse with, it, with his head held high, big, bright, curious eyes, and small curved ears. The coat colors, as shown above, include a completely new color. While these examples are from in-game horses, we want to have fun with the variety while still considering your coat preferences. Art is a living process and changes may occur along the way. Thus, we cannot guarantee that all seven code colors will make it to the final version. However, we will do our best to keep you posted. Any specific code you're especially excited about? Known for its elegance and intelligence, the American Saddlebred is popular in various equestrian sports. When you ride this breed, you'll experience the grace of a horse with naturally high steps and carriage. Representing gated characteristics, the American Saddlebred allows you to perform the slow gait. The decision between Western Pleasure and Saddle Seat Riding was closely contested. After thorough research, Star Civil opted for Western Pleasure, maintaining the breed's unique movement to reflect its elegance and distinctiveness. While we acknowledge that some desired saddle seat, it didn't feel safe to represent in Jorvik. Though there are ways to practice the equestrian sport with the best intentions for the horse, we want to avoid unintentionally depicting any harmful practices. Consequently, saddle seat riding will not be available for this breed. We understand this may be disappointing, but we hope you appreciate our stance on this. Anticipate the arrival of the American saddlebred in Jorvik before summer 2024. The code colors for this breed include Flax and Liver Chestnut Pinto, Suri Bay, Palomino, Rose Grey Dapple, Bay Pinto, Silver Buckskin, and Black. This is an entirely new breed, bringing fresh excitement to Jorvik. Honestly, I'm pretty excited, and SSO did say that we're going to get them before summer, so I really can't wait to get my hands on one. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of the spoilers in the comments, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!